Welcome to EV Evolution. And now we, we are in the phase that all high voltage is connected. And the next step is low voltage. Low voltage is also more complex because you need to connect contact and activation and many other wiring inside of the vehicle and also see the mess of the existing car, car wiring so this is existing car wiring that will need to be cut and removed all of the excess of the wires so we saw our excess wires and new wires will need to come of course we will use all of the existing wires that are needed to know what wires are needed we first need to connect all of the new systems to our uh, power distribution box low voltage and when all connected uh, wiring that we think is needed from the existing vehicle like this then we will need to test the vehicle so make it in drivable condition and then test drive to see if the cluster gauges works and if all other things are working inside of the vehicle once we can confirm that all works then we can cut all of the these existing wires that are not needed anymore because they will look ugly if they are left inside of the vehicle so this is only the step which we do the last when all system is ready now since we have uh, just completed the high voltage uh, the low voltage we haven't even started some parts of, of are completed but just starting with the low voltage thinking about where to place a low voltage power distribution box and then we can go with the wiring of the low voltage systems so this is 12 volt system connected to the car battery 12 volt uh, the pipes all inside of the vehicle so this is the existing car heating so we use existing pipes and connected to our heater so this is our heater cold water comes in and hot water goes out and goes over this hose inside of the cabin and cold water comes out to the pump and inside of the heater so this is a circular way of doing we mostly use the existing pipes so this is all existing pipes till here then we have a slight uh, change in diameter of the pipes and then here we continue with the continue with the same original pipe so this is the origi original pipe just cut here and we added this uh, change in diameter also for this side this is original uh, till here and then comes our custom pipe to the heater inside so there was a strange shape here so we didn't we didn't want to touch it so we cut it on th this part and then used again switch to a lower diameter and to fit it nicely inside of the uh, heater output for the vacuum so this is the heating uh, the the vacuum for the brakes this is the vacuum pump and vacuum hose connected to the vacuum tank and from the vacuum tank vacuum sensor we will control the pressure inside of the vacuum uh, brakes so this is the brake cylinder inside of the brake cylinder we will make the vacuum over the vacuum tank and controlled by the vacuum switch which measures measures the pressure inside of the uh, vacuum tank and activates the pump in case if it's needed to make more pressure these are all new hoses so we only kept the original connection and used the, used the pipes that that are uh, nicely fit on this connector for the high voltage uh, we still didn't start with the heating all wires are in place and tightened under the vehicle 
because the battery is in the trunk, but we still didn't heat it because we'll do that uh, as the last step when we are sure that all is on the correct positions. So all these all these heat uh, tubes are in place and ready to be heated when we are fully ready and to make this all look very nice. So this will be looking very nice when fully completed. Uh, there, there was no any hole drilled inside of the engine bay, so we, you, we used all of the existing holes inside of the vehicle. So none of the holes are down inside of the engine bay or under the vehicle. We only needed to drill holes inside of the trunk to fit the battery and to, to place it securely. So only holes for the battery are in the trunk and none of the holes are underneath of the vehicle or inside of the engine bay. So keeping the existing uh, holes of the vehicle and mounts is the best option. Also keeping the existing pipes or re reusing the existing pipes and virus is the best way. So we will also since these are uh, wires in good condition and pipes were in the good condition, we will reuse all of these uh, wires to keep it more simpler and cost effective. Uh, keep subscribe and follow us to see the progress of the Fiat Panda. So next is low voltage assembly and when we complete the wiring of the low voltage, then we will do the testing and after the testing, we are removing the low voltage of the uh, previous petrol engine. So this was from, from the previous petrol engine. Keep following us and subscribe to see the more videos of the Fiat Panda EV conversion.